Now to the ongoing political deadlock in Thailand where an explosion near one of the demonstrators' rally sites in Bangkok injured several people on Friday night. And this came on the same day farmers called off a protest at the capital's main airport. The protest was cancelled after the government promised to make rice subsidy payments that were long overdue. For the latest, uh, we can go live to our correspondent Tony Chang, who joins us from Bangkok. Welcome, Tony. Uh, just tell us some more about the last-minute promise made by the Prime Minister. When will the payments uh, be made and how much will the farmers actually receive? We don't know at this stage the exact details of that agreement. Apparently, uh, the representative of the farmers met with uh, the Prime Minister very briefly on Thursday night, um, but also with the caretaker commerce secretary, uh, and hammered out a deal in which the farmers would be paid what was owed. The first payments would come uh, later this or next week, uh, and all payments should be made within six weeks. Uh, so clearly they received terms which they were satisfied with. They were heading towards Suwanabum Airport, Bangkok's international airport. Uh, they turned around before they got there. I think some consternation that they were going to try and shut the airport down as Yellow Shirt protesters did in 2008. That crisis seems to be averted. Uh, but I think it illustrates just how uh, unstable the government is at the moment that it is a uh, victim and can easily be manipulated by a small, relatively small handful of farmers. That said, there is still a lot of dissatisfaction amongst rice farmers who here, many of whom haven't been paid for harvests dating back at least six months. Uh, they say the total bill is about 100 million US dollars, a considerable amount, particularly for the agricultural poor. The government says it's trying to do what it, it can, but uh, its caretaker status limits its ability to raise funds. But as we understand it, their latest tactic is to try and raise those funds through issuing national bonds. Well, I guess that uh, gives uh, a little bit of breathing space to, uh, to uh, Prime Minister Yingluck Shinawat. Generally, uh, Tony, what's the situation like in Thailand uh, right now? And if people were coming into Bangkok today, would they still see some form of demonstrations in the capital? Absolutely. There's still four main rally sites in the center of Bangkok. That explosion you mentioned uh, earlier, uh, which occurred at about 8.30 last night, occurred just a couple of hundred meters away from me. Uh, so, you know, this is, a, this is one of these central commercial areas. People are still going, looking very relaxed today during the daytime. But at night, I think these rally sites are still considered to be relatively insecure. We've seen a number of shootings since these protests began targeting rally sites. Now they've condensed right into the center.